Hi, Gemini. It's L here to do your mid-May 2019 general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Gemini who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Okay, so let's jump into it. We've got a spread for love, and then we'll do a quick spread for career and finance. Um, so the top row is how the Gemini feels, and then the bottom is how the Gemini, whoever you're coming to the reading for, is how they feel. Okay. Um, so, the Gemini feels like things have taken a turn in the relationship. Um, that this might be the end. Um, and they're evaluating from afar this ending. The Gemini is evaluating, do I want to continue to put energy, effort, work, time into this relationship, trying to restore the balance, um, having patience here. Uh, do I want to continue to uh, compromise in this relationship? Do I want to salvage what we have? Or do I want to go to the Ten of Wands and just release what has become burdensome? Because it seems like when you guys do try to work on the relationship, something from the past, some issue, some interference, some friend, family, outside person, outside entity crops back up and then there's reversal um there's so every time the gemini tries to work on the relationship maybe with the sagittarius aquarius leo scorpio um Taurus, you guys find yourself back in the heavy arguing, the disagreement, the discord. Something interferes with you guys moving and pressing forward. Maybe going to the Six of Swords where there's peace. There's also been change in a long standing relationship, a marriage or. A, a relationship you've been in for a long time there's something changed change for the not so good for you know for in this argument in, in this type of arguing it's always about outside forces that's why there's really no resolution to it except for to choose peace the six of swords but it looks like you guys keep going back over past issues can't get over the past somebody may have cheated someone you know may have just not put the relationship or taken a relationship serious this comes back up the overall energy is the king of cups so there is some one or there's the energy of both of you hiding exactly how you feel, um, mastering your emotions, um, keeping options open, maybe keeping exes around or close by. Uh, having deep feelings and not really speaking on them or speaking about them the person that you came to the reading for they feel the nine of swords so there is physical either physical separation energy you know like you guys may live together but there's not a lot of talking or doing things together 
um, the nine of swords is the high anxiety about where this is going someone knows that this could be possibly over this is the the begin the beginning of an end you know the ten of swords will be the complete end the nine of swords is the anxiety about how we've gone on separate paths how this is ending how this is troublesome it is it's it's worry here the person you're coming to the reading for also may have reservations about someone from their past how they are separated from someone from the past they have very strong and loving and uh, nostalgic feelings for a situation from the past they feel as if maybe someone is a soulmate but they rest in obligation in trying to make the right decision and trying to be a man or a woman of their word in regards to um, what they the life they've created with you um, they may be contemplating divorce or separation because what you guys have created thus far um, is not getting you to a place of complete fulfillment or a laying down of the burden um, someone also may be divided like I said someone has thoughts of a person from the past a situation from the past let's see what this is about Clarify the Will of Fortune and the Nine of Wands. Queen of Wands. Someone may be just be getting a lot of attention or contemplating just doing what's best for them. This could be you, Gemini, or the other person. Wands. Yeah, this could be you contemplating just laying down this burden. You're already at the Nine of Wands. You may be contemplating just creating the life that you want elsewhere. You may even be contemplating a move. Either a physical move or the proverbial move away from a situation that just doesn't uh, serve you anymore. What's the temperance card for the Ten of Wands? nine of swords it's like we're trying to work on this but we can never get past all of the stuff that has happened in the past we say we're going to get past it and we say we're past it but it comes right back up we argue about the same things this is not working for me and you you may feel as if this might be the beginning of the end eight of pentacles you may be putting energy, effort, time into yourself or someone spending a lot of time at work or trying to work on themselves um, or the work that you put into this relationship, this marriage, maybe with a cancer person. Um, you're just not seeing victory here or you were trying to be victorious and moving forward. You did the five of swords again, but it's like you take two steps forward and ten steps back so someone may just be contemplating a release 
releasing this relationship. what your partner is at the nine of swords but i think they feel like this is the end too and then they they start to emotionally stray to the past and start to think about past situation maybe where it was good with something or someone else it's the nine of swords wow the will of fortune some of you guys are mirroring each other i think the both of you know that this has to end either we we have a the end of the arguing and really putting the past in the past or we end all together your partner yeah will of fortune and judgment they want to be final and definite about what are we doing this can't keep happening we can't keep planning promising that we're going to move ahead and move past the you know the past issues and then we go right back to the same place the king of pentacles and the three of swords wow the ten of swords you got a ten of wands ten of swords also some of you may feel like your partner is keeping a secret a secret about a particular person Or how they felt about a particular person. Or how they feel about a particular person. The King of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. There's someone who is contemplating a release. Just I just Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. You want you want to stop giving to the situation energetically. Your partner's tired of even men, doing the mental thinking about it, the taxation about it, the mental, you know, game, tired of playing uh, the mentals. So seven of pentacles, someone may be evaluating where they are with you in this situation thus far and saying, you know, we should be further along. I put in all this energy, effort and time this is a person who's at a place of pruning and anybody knows what, if anybody knows what that word means it's like you say you have a garden you go out to the garden some things have grown overgrown um some things can't grow until you cut away some some of the overgrown leaves or branches or so forth so this is where your partner is evaluating their life looking to where what they've done for maybe seven months seven years a seven year cycle a cycle and saying you know what I need to cut this out the three of swords they may be evaluating or they're evaluating but they definitely could be contemplating divorce or separation eight of swords to two of pentacles they constantly think about um, they constantly think about this love affair weighing up the options here what is best for them they put something or someone down for you and gave you all the attention or vice versa. You know, you switch it how you will. But now they're contemplating like, look, this one pentacle that's, that's down. This was you. This is you. This is the one that they kind of stopped giving attention to. And now they're saying, hey, maybe I need to, you know, think about the situation that I have put away or put down because the person or the situation I'm giving 
energy, effort, time to, it's just not working out. Let's see how this ends up on the other side. Let's pull a few cards for career and finance. Six of diamond and a ten of clubs. This talks about <clears throat> unexpected money, a payout that allows you to start over. That allows you to start something that you're passionate about. Something that will bring you a lot a wealth that will, could possibly bring you wealth. Um, something that maybe is creative in nature that you do. Wow, it'll bring you a large sum of money. But you have to divorce a particular uh, maybe you have to separate from what you do now. Yep, you have to there'll be good news that comes in. But you also have to evaluate where you are. You may have to end something. Yeah, this could be a, a change of career. One that suits you, that's more suitable to you. It, it feeds you on a soul level. It's like, it's a perfect marriage, but this is work. Um, this could be commerce, the exchange of goods or services for money, the, the exchange here. Okay, so let's go over to the website and see how the love situation turns out and then see what the career is because it might be a career change or a move, a sudden move for you. Okay, so Gemini, to get the extended read, the link is below. It's only $2, especially if you feel like this is resonating with you thus far. Go ahead and book that. Uh, or it's not book it, but go ahead and click the link and you'll get the extended read. Um, if you feel like this reading resonates with you and you want to pull your own personal energy, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Uh, thank you, Gemini, for tuning in. Um, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care.